you want to survive the zombie apocalypse. Ha! And if you recognise that intro, you will recognise Marvel Zombies. Uh, this is a collaboration between Simon Marvel and Spin Masters and Get It In Games. My understanding is Spin Masters own license for Marvel and from a board game perspective and Marvel worked recently with Simon Guillotine Games to produce a substantial zombicide version of Marvel Zombies. This, on the other hand, is a Spin Masters production. Um, I did contact Spin Masters, uh, Spin Masters Games UK and they didn't seem to uh, be aware of the existence of this game, although it had already released in Australia. This one I had shipped from America. This is uh, available in the, uh, in the United States from Amazon.com. Um, so I paid to have it shipped across. But this is, in essence, a small box for shelf production, the smallest to date, as far as we're having Zombicide, Zombicide has never been produced to this scale before. It's a wonderful artwork here that you are recognising from that intro and from these characters. This is, in essence, the What If series version of Marvel Zombies board game of heroes resistance because these characters are having here somebody pointed out on the Facebook group are the same characters we find in the right here zombies episode which is really really cool um Marvel Zombies has been around for a long time now came in in original comic form uh, quite a number of years ago I believe it was 2005 um, and then they did the What If series, which was a massive success. Uh, very, very well received. And I believe they are now in talks to produce a What If um, TV show. Now, my understanding is that is not going to be live action. It is going to be an animation. So effectively a much more in-depth What If series um, which I'm really looking forward to I'm re I really enjoy the Zombicide game the Simon production is fantastic I'm not convinced this is going to be anywhere near as good from a production perspective but I'm very excited to dig into it um, in fact I know it's not going to be anywhere near the same scale uh, but that does not deter me I love Marvel, I love everything that's happening at the MCU at the moment, so the fact that this is a board game directly tied with that is super exciting for me. Gameplay about one hour, one to four players to play, uh, recommended 14 plus, which I find amusing, I, I almost think of this as a, my first zombie side, but we'll see, but this is, yeah, as I say, a, a Spin Masters uh, production, and let's dig in. Okay, uh, this is very compact, very well packaged. Nice little 3D something. And uh, look at the neat fit on that rule book. I love that. I love the fact that the rule book is just the same size as the box and it is absolutely flush, really well designed. These are all the card tokens come with the box. So look before we dig into those, this is the rule box. So on the back we have a summary of the rules. So we get the round summary of the hero modes. We're playing the heroes fighting against the zombies. Um, so you get power to increase your power tracks, you get better activation tokens, etc. The enemy phase. In the end phase you get the targeting so as you're the heroes trying to fight zombies you run into those areas to defeat them depending on the things that are in that area will determine what you can and can't target from a power perspective um, it, I 
have seen come up with quite a wide um, design in terms of the layout of the book. That doesn't bother me so much. Um, the writing is a little bit small, but it's fine. Really well laid out and designed, however. Um, yeah, just loving the feel of this. And obviously you see some of the uh, components in there. So you get four double-sided player boards, which we'll come to in a moment. Um, you get your hero characters you can play through. Um, so as we can see there, we have a Bucky. For those uh, recognizing the What If series. Of course, Spider-Man, Black Panther, various um, zombies. You get your traditional tropes of your walkers, your runners, your brutes. Um, of course, Vision. And it just lays out very simply how to play the main mechanisms of the game. And you get somewhere around about 20 pages of the rules. And then you start to get into missions. So you've got um, probably about 30 odd pages in total. So you've got about 10 pages, 10 different missions to play through, which is a good number. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they do produce some extra missions for free, which I certainly see them do for a number of their games. And an extra, that uh, barcode game there on the inside of the magazine uh, of the uh, rule book. Good. And just to show you on the edge of the uh, inside of the box, see some of the, uh, the tropes of the walker, the runner group. So we get to see some of our heroes, a bit of a dim in the corner there. So we've sold a Spider-Man vision. Get out the zombies, the bad guys, which you can all be recognised from the uh, animation. So these two were the first scene as the uh, as Thanos' uh, minions appear and get straight away taken out by uh, the Strangle Iron Man. And then later we encounter Wanda, Star Witch, and then later we encounter in America. And we also have the Black Panther, Hulk, and the Wasp. And the Wasp is, of course, the original source in the What If series. Spo spoiler alert. Um, as uh, Hank Pym travels to the, uh, the nanoverse, as it were, to find his wife and discovers that she has, of course, contracted in essence the zombie virus so it comes with these uh, punch boards on the top and we'll get the tiles underneath very very colorful really liking the artwork um, so let's dig into these that seems to be the, the easy cut points there so that's good okay these up very well packaged nice and tight um, there we go yeah so, that's, uh, so these are the skill trackers rather than being on the actual player board themselves as they would be um, in the in normal zombie side and in the uh, the big Kickstarter which will be coming later next uh, next year um, they pop out really nicely. Tank on there, but that's all good. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really feel them, so they're really nice. Um, and I believe these pads we situate above these. You would turn these. Loving the design of this, very uh, in keeping. They always do great work on all the uh, graphic design, but yeah, I think all of them punch out really nicely. And then rather than the whole usual hordes of plastic that you would get with a, a Seamon game, these come with standees. So all the zombies you would normally have as miniatures. Of course, 
Include Agent Carter. Oh, I thought I had a picture for him to have. There go to the Avengers sign that's fallen off the uh, Avengers Tower. Yep, so damaged, crumpled on one side, normal on the other. So the notion is the heroes can pick this up and throw this at zombies to cause damage in a mass area. And then the first time you've used it, it's then damaged. And then the second time it's completely consumed. It's how I recall it from the main uh, Zombicide Kickstarter. So I'm sure there'll be tropes of that in here. Uh, and then these are the uh, four boards. Come the city scenes, really nicely colored. So these are bystander icon, I guess. And then, uh, this would be where you would spawn and these are uh, labelled in every corner which is quite nice uh, some of the games you just get them and they're labelled in one corner you search it around when you pull a board out so that's quite nice I think there's only four in this instance I believe there is a reference to potential expansions in the new book so whether there will be expansions to this iteration or whether they're making reference to maybe the bigger Marvel zombie side that is coming We'll be interested to see <laughs> David Bugle sign in there with the ground floor of the David Bugle. The spawn zone with my and, uh, and Oscorp, of course, which will be the Goblin's Glider. I believe these may well be some of the original uh, tiles that we see in the Kickstarter as well coming out. Like this rather than a normal uh, just a, a cardboard insert, it's nice to have a plastic insert. Pull it out the cardboard. And uh, agree with the comment that I saw that uh, rather than having them in the and having them in the right now, the plastic fold cups would be nice. No risk to try and dig your name in and damaging cards. Very annoying happens. We get Spider-Man. They really are quite compact from a size of these cars. Very compact. Yeah, we've got the um, features are similar to the original graphics. In fact, um, yeah, and that's the design of the miniature. In fact, that's coming with the uh, Kickstarter edition. Hulk, Wasp, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Get, Go, Vibranium Claws, the Wasp thing, so these are their native abilities. And it all just pops off as one go. That's quite interesting. These uh, just just left a little bit of bits to keep them in place. Of course, got the uh, the dice. So these are like these are going to be exactly the same dice as we're going to get and see 
in uh, marble zombotype and otherwise, but it's really nice. Actually, these are uh, nice sized indentations and divots in the actual device itself. Really nice differentiation between that sort of blood red and that black. Nice glossy, no big weight and size to them. <laughs> the number one you do not want to see the teeth. Like that. Very nice. And these are, as you can see, hard plastic, so which is not always great. Um, you find in painting miniatures on the base. And these can of cause that sort of rubber infection, causing that paint shop to deteriorate. Four planes, uh, characters, uh, and then you have the same four colors matching on your player boards as the sliders move across and uh, to track the various places. A life three here, and then the power of the black hole finds in its head on the track of those. Have these little uh, clip together bits. So these will be for the uh, the dials for the skills we saw earlier. A whole plethora of <laughs> transparent standees. Uh, and again, I did see some comments online about different. It would be nice to either have coloration around the uh, different zombies for runners, fatties, and walkers, uh, or even having different color bases just to expedite the differentiation on the on the playing board but yeah something that can be done <coughs> very easily and simply here we go so this is the uh, the typical <laughs> cellophane wrap of cards and at least you've got a, a bit of a, a good size corner on there just be able to get in there open them up without damaging the contents I always find personally a little bit of a, a frustration. Um, here's a nice little ditty card. So we go to so the Avenger sign reference card. So this tells you how you can use that Avenger sign. There we go. So roll die for each enemy in a targeted zone and pick it up and throw it. Arrows ignore for its attack. Flipped open to its damage side after its first use and remove it after its second use. So yes. Yeah, so Gameplay is exactly the same as it will be for the uh, the Kickstarter when that comes. Um, and then instead of as you're moving around with your heroes, instead of looking for uh, weapons that you can find, you can get these heroic traits instead. And you know, these are they are um, opportunities to power up, as it were. So they've got a couple of heroic traits that will actually cause you to sell them as well, so you can get those in. Otherwise they give you the power to determine the focus. That's all kinds of goodies that you can add on a round by round basis to soup your supers. We have our bystanders that we saw the uh, also in the what if uh, as a zombie in fact along with Doctor Strange Happy Hogan who is uh, a company in the what if series so they are the bystanders we'll be rescuing and of course we have our A-bombs our abominations the graphics on the back so we have Captain America Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor 
strange. And these are alternative sculpts, in fact, to the, uh, the Kickstarter editions. I'm really interested to see just how well those miniatures have come out. And then these, of course, are the zombie deck that we'll get so as we power up our um, heroes. You'll have more and more zombies pouring onto the board, trying to defeat us, consume us, uh, distract us from achieving our mission objective. And then, of course, we come to the main reason everyone's here, which is the miniatures. These are actually it's a good quality sculpt actually. Um, I was concerned that they weren't going to be that good, but these paint off really, really well. And they've just done a great job of just coming out. How small the head is on that hole and just giving that real sense of bulk. Um, so these are the hero heroes we played. Yeah, I did see a comment on why about a bit of a strange head um, on the Spider-Man. It's a bit bigger than the Sort of the bolt and not giving you a sense of scale. This tiny box. Illusion. <laughs> the flowing cape. And the sense of fly floating. And then, of course, the zombies. So we have. I am man. That's a great job there. Some of those details. Brilliant. That Doctor Strange. And I like the fact that you've got the different colorations as well for the, for the zombie miniatures versus the, uh, the good guys, the heroes. Obviously for those that are into painting miniatures, they make it look great. And they're out there on the board, in play. And finally, of course, Captain America. I'm really excited to get this to the table. Too excited to get these into the painting table as well, to be honest with you. These are gonna come up really nicely. There's a good level of detail in there. <laughs> Fantastic. And that's it. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you very shortly will be seeing some playthrough missions as well. So if you like that then please Give us a like below, hit subscribe for more content and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching family. Bye.